Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks this time around. Now, I don't have the ornament bought yet. I'm probably going to do it on camera just so wait, like, well, just because why not? Okay, so... Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Warlock uh, Solstice of Heroes armor set. We're going to be looking at the non-glow, non the white glow, and maybe the ornaments. I haven't bought the ornaments on this character yet. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to. We'll probably do it on camera if I do, but we'll see. Uh, the only reason I like to do it is because if I buy it for one character, I usually like to buy it for everyone. Um, just so it can be even even though I never play with my warlock a lot most of the time anymore So I mean whatever but it's literally the same thing with uh, The same the same feelings I have with my Titan. <clears throat> it's the fact that The trim is so fucking cool like especially for the warlocks. I think the warlocks have a really cool armor set this year and it, It's it comes down to the same thing uh, I think the trim really makes the armor really pop out and unfortunately the glow kind of just invalidates that um i really wish i said this in my first uh hunter armor review because i feel like i feel like i was overly excited for that armor and then when i like when i got on my titan and the trim was just like i guess i don't know it just different perspective like i said in that video but i absolutely love this armor set when it's not shader just because like wow it looks so cool like for me it just it kills my soul how fucking dope it looks but then like when you put the shader on or when you put on the glow again it same feelings uh immediately invalidates the shader for me and it just doesn't even matter what shader you're wearing at the end of the day don't get me wrong i'm probably being a little like over dramatic like i can still see red here still like there's obviously still red here but i don't know i think the trim really made the the red really pop out because obviously you can wear like stuff like this like oh there's the red if you want like, you can obviously wear different types of red but uh like I said in the in the Titan video, Bungie's Bungie doesn't have a really good track record with keeping colors the same for shaders. So, it, like let's say I'm wearing I'm wearing the uh, this red right here for this class, which I'm not. I'm wearing another color. Like let's say I'm wearing this. Actually, even, like to go even further, uh, I'm currently wearing which one is it? Is, is it the Night's Chill? I think I'm wearing Night's Chill. So I'm wearing Knight's Chill, which means that I am pretty much fucked because those boots have engravings that come with the shader. There's no other shader that does this. So if I really like the engravings on this one, which thankfully don't really add much to the armor set because you can you can barely see it, this then this would be okay because again, you're already getting that color from this. The trim doesn't really help that much, so it, it makes the trim look even better. But when it comes to like shaders like this, it really, you really see the problem. You're like, fuck, like I'm losing all that cool ass red. I know people are gonna be like, ah, oh, you're being too picky, you're being this and that. Oh, I completely agree. This is like, this is me being super picky. But I mean, that's kind of what these videos are made for. Like these videos are made to review the armor set. They're my opinion on the armor set. Obviously you guys can let me know your, your opinions in the comments below. And I love when people do that because then we have conversation. Um, I've had multiple people co comment like things where Oh, I think this, this, and this, and then it made me change my, my perspective of the armor. So, if you think you have something that can change my perspective, let me know in the comments below. But, that's pretty much it for that. I'm currently wearing the basic bitch armor just because, uh, again, I I don't play my warlock that much and I, I forgot to put it on her. Let's look at the, let's look at the thing. So... Here is the glow. Like I said, it really, the end of the day, bro, if you, if you're like, man, does this, does this change anything from like the white to the, to the colors? Not really. It's just literally colors. That's really it. Like the end of the day, it's not even that big of a deal. Um, the only reason I get them is because I have problems. 
uh, legitimately. So we're just gonna do this. So now I have 9,000 bright dust, which is probably a problem because I don't even have all the armor set for this season yet. But that's pretty much, that's like what? That's 3,000 E. Yeah, I'll have enough for to get them all. Not only that, I still haven't collected all the bright dust that I have. So I'll be fine, hopefully. So then let's look at the this, this uh, ornament that I am definitely gonna regret buying. Do I have to really unlock it, bro? Oh, that's right. Now I should show up. There we go. <clears throat> the same thing. Honestly, it's the same thing with uh, with the other armor. It's just it invalidates it in a in a, in a different glow. Um, and by no means am I like salty or anything. Like at the end of the day, I I think the the glow looks cool. It's just that. It's one of those like, man, that sucks, but whatever, like, honestly. But I did want to make this video just like, for like, not only is this one of those like, oh, this is what I think about the armor, but it's also like, oh, like, uh, buyer beware type of thing. Like, if you don't like the fact that it, it, it invalidates the trim, then I want people to know that. I want people that haven't bought it to know that, oh, you know, it does do this. And they'll be like, oh, no, I don't want to buy this then. Because uh, I think it's important. I think it's important for people to do this. That's why I like other content creators when they cover stuff like this, because it's very helpful. Um, because like, let's say I wasn't a content creator, I wasn't doing YouTube like full time, and someone did a video like this, I would immediately be like, oh fuck, I'm staying away from that armor because I think the, the trim is really what brings out the armor. And yeah. Uh, I will I will say it again. I think uh, what they should have done is had cracked like cracked armor But still hold the trim so that way it looks like Like it looked regal, but also like it was broken that would have been cool But again, I understand why they didn't do that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments below again uh, I think the I think it looks super dope. The other unfortunate thing is the fact that like let's say Let's say you're on this armor, right? And you want to you want to switch it out this is the only thing that's an ornament. Unfortunately, you would have to, let's, uh, let's go. So this is the other thing that kind of sucks is the fact that this is the only ornament. That's the only one that that's an ornament. The other two you would have to get individually. And I only have six, which means I can only get one armor set and then one of the other ones, which is unfortunate specifically. Cause like, I would want to get this one. I think this one looks super dope. And this one definitely would be the one I would get. Um, but yeah, that's the only, the other unfortunate part is that the only one that's an ornament is the one that changes colors depending on your subclass, which I think is unfortunate. But yeah, let me know your thoughts and comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, it seems to be in the description below. I thank you all for coming to this point and I will see you guys later.